this video, I'm going to show you a handful of tips and tricks from the Notes app that you might not already know. You can pin certain notes if you want to get to them quick and easy. To do that, swipe right on a note, tap on the orange pin, and it'll pin to the top. Additionally, let's say you have a list of passwords and you don't want anyone to be able to access them without Face ID or a password. There's two ways to create a locked note. You can either hold down on the note and hit lock note, or while you're in the note, you can tap on the three dots at the top right and then hit lock in purple. This will activate Face ID, so as long as it's locked, no one will be able to get to it. If you need to unlock a note, open the note, put view note, and Face ID or Touch ID will unlock it. And if you want to lock your notes back, tap lock now on the bottom of the screen. You can always remove the lock if you want to by tapping on the three dots again and hit remove. A nice thing about Apple Notes is it allows you to have subfolders to organize your notes. How to do that is at the top left, tap folders or swipe to the left. This will show you the folders you already have. You can edit the ones you have, or you can add a new folder by tapping on the icon on the bottom left. Let's call this new. And there's our new folder. Now we can add different notes to this folder. So let's go back to our main page. We'll swipe right on the passwords and we'll move it to new. Now it's in the new folder. If you like to make a list using checkboxes, you can do that. On the bottom, you'll see a circle with a check mark. Tap on that, and that'll convert that to a checkbox. Every time you hit return, it'll make a new checkbox. Then if you check it, it'll send it to the bottom. Did you know you can add handwriting to notes? If you tap on the little pin in a circle icon on the bottom right, it'll allow you to start drawing. You can also add text below it. To delete the drawing, just go to the nearest text, hit the backspace button twice, and there you go. Did you know the Notes app will allow you to scan documents into it? Tap on the camera icon on the bottom, scan documents, hold it over your document, and it'll automatically size the document and take a photo once it sees it. Then you can continue to scan if you want to, or hit save. You can tap on the top right icon to share it, and even add it as a PDF to files. Using emojis can be an easy way to glance at your notes. To add an emoji, tap in the notes title, use the emoji icon on the bottom left, and you can search for it. This makes it easy to glance and see your notes without having to read them. Did you know you can show your notes as a gallery view instead of a list? Tap on the icon in the top right with the three dots, view as gallery. This allows you to see into the note with a glance instead of just the first line. You can also change that back to view as list this way. If you have multiple attachments and you wanna be able to go to those attachments without opening each note, you can tap on the top right icon, tap on view attachments, and this will show all the attachments you have in all of your notes. Don't forget you can use the search feature to search for things in your notes. So for example, let's say I have spinach in a note, there it is. If you don't want to use dark mode for your entire phone, but you want dark mode enabled on your notes app, it's very easy. Go to settings, scroll down to notes, scroll down and do notes backgrounds. Change it from light to dark. If you take a lot of notes on the iPad, lines and grids might be useful to you. So in the notes settings, go to lines and grids, and this will allow you to select different grid options. This is especially useful for the iPad and the Apple pencil. If you want notes to be easily accessible and easier to use as just like a notepad that you would carry around with you, go into the notes settings, go to the very bottom, access notes from lock screen, and change it to resume last note. This will make it so it's almost just like a notepad. This way it's easy to jot down notes. You can also change the duration that it keeps opening that same note here at the bottom. So if you want all of your notes from today to be written down on the same note, you can do that or change it to whenever you want. You can also use tables. For example, I have this vacation ideas note. If I wanted to do a pros and cons list, I can tap on the tables icon here on the bottom left. It'll also allow you to move the tables. It'll also allow you to add columns, delete columns. Tapping on this sidebar will also add rows or delete rows. Let's say I wanted to do pro and cons. This is really useful. If you like to make multiple titles just like that at the top, you can do so. Let's type out some more text. Go ahead and tap at the end of the text, hit select, 
And then here where the AA icon is on the bottom, tap on that and you can change it to a title, heading, subheading, and also format your text this way. What if you want to collaborate on a note or share it with someone else? You can do so by tapping on the three dots on the top right and hit share note. This is going to allow you to share this note with others and everyone can make changes. If you just want to send the note without allowing others to edit it, tap on the three dots and hit send a copy. If you're in a subfolder, you can also change the way you sort and filter your notes. So for example, let's go to the top right, the three dots, go to sort notes here on the bottom, and you can change it to sort by title, oldest to newest, date created, and so forth. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to hit like and subscribe for more tips.